everyone, and welcome back, finally, to Cape Mar. Um, sorry it's been so long since I recorded. I didn't mean to take a break, but it just sort of happened. Anyway, uh, Unreal World should continue fairly soon. But my upload schedule might be a bit off still for a little bit. Cool. Fire spell. I like the fire spells. Ah. Snake. Spider. It's clearly not a snake. Why'd I call it a snake? But yeah, my upload schedule got a bit weird due to personal things. Shit, that's a skeleton. I think I can run around this way and get him to this. Yep. Not sure what that is. Come to think of it. Ooh. Happy I didn't get too close to him. See what this does. No idea. I don't know. I guess I'd have to look that up. Cool. Got a sword though. I like the darkness effect that this game uses. Hide. Is there anything in here? Alright, well, I didn't lose my invisibility ring at least, that's good. But yeah, anyway, um, Unreal World is going to start up again eventually, but I don't know exactly when. This game is a lot easier for me to record, especially when things come up that I'm not expecting. It's just a lot, a much smaller game. That's Mimic. I didn't mean to do that, but okay. Uh, shit. Need to heal before this thing gets close. Oh wow, I actually dropped something. I don't know what these little teleporter things are supposed to be. Like, I think they're teleporters, but they might just be doors or something. Okay, so we beat this one. Only just, I played that pretty poorly. Oh yeah, somebody asked about the game audio. I've explained it in a couple projects, but I guess I should probably explain it again. I can't record game audio and voice audio on this computer because the sound card is terrible. What ends up happening when I try is um, it will record for a couple seconds, normally long enough for me to do my little like countdown to sync it, but then both audio streams stop. Which is to say that rather than getting two audio streams, my voice and the game audio, I get none. So that's why there's no game audio for any of my projects. There's so many spiders. Please don't poison me. Damn. Okay, well, I survived. That was kind of annoying, though. We got another antidote. Let's 
Oh, the sky pass. Okay. So yeah, um, game audio is just not an option for me really. Until I can get a better computer. Alright, one of those little goblin dudes I don't care too much about. And we're done here. That wasn't too bad. And uh, because this is a Game Boy game and the emulator I use has some like graph audio issues, I don't know why I keep wanting to say graphical. It's audio. But yeah, I haven't been able to get a better emulator working yet. I'm trying to, but in the meantime, the one I'm using has some audio issues anyway, so even if I could record the game audio, it wouldn't actually work properly. I think that lets us fly. Is there a secret door in here? Seems like an oddly empty room. Where does this take us? Back over here. Cool. More armor. Not complain about armor. Shit, I will complain about that. These death dudes are not fun. They hit kind of hard. Yeah, those fireball dudes are not an issue though, normally. What are you? You're a tree. You are a tree. Now you're dead. Okay. I know what the deal with those trees are. What those trees is? Uh, hmm. Uh -uh. Need to drop something. Guess I'll drop the candle. Yeah, that's probably the most difficult part about this particular dungeon is you end up using a lot of inventory space just for the quest items, which I really don't like. Speaking of things I don't like, I don't like millipedes either. But we should be able to take it down. Well, it didn't poison us and we have a health potion, so I'll just leave that. That didn't go too poorly. It's that um, flying ring thing. I don't know what it was. I can't remember if it was a ring or a potion. But that should be enough to get us out of here. So yeah, I, this is actually a really fun game to LP. So it might become a full project. I know I wasn't sure about what I was going what was going to come of this project in the last episode, but I'm really enjoying it. It's just easy to commentate on. And it's very fast paced, I like that. Well it's not so much that it's easy to commentate on, but it's simple enough that I can just talk about whatever and it doesn't get in the way of me actually playing the game. Um. Okay. That's that lava shit that I died to stupidly last episode, I think. 
Two of them. Need to clear up inventory space anyway. Okay, there's a door at the top. It's mostly what I was curious about if there's another exit to that room. Keep those alone for now. This should take us to the northern room, then, I think. Hmm. Don't like you. Can I burn you? I can't. Not very effectively. Ouch. Okay. You're way too strong for me. Oops. Did not mean to do that. Okay. So, at least we learned that those snake things are kind of a pain in the ass. Which is a good thing to have learned, I think. I guess it's meant to be like a dragon or something? I'm not sure. Because I think there's dragons later on, and they're one of those um, two-tile tall enemies, but they stand on the ground like the giants do. So, I don't think they're meant to be dragons. They're probably like sea serpents or something. Or lava serpents, I guess. I don't know. Is there a secret door around here? Doesn't look like it. What are you? Oh, I think you are a dragon. Yeah, you are definitely a dragon. I kind of want to... Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think they were supposed to show up this early in the game, actually. So maybe I'm just really unlucky. But yeah, there's a dragon. They're big, they're mean. They're bigger than I thought, actually. I thought they were only a two-tile creature. Apparently they're four. So yeah, dragons are kind of a problem. I don't plan on fighting one if I can avoid it. Maybe in the first dungeon, because you don't really have a choice sometimes, but In these dungeons, you can generally avoid them. Alright, looks like another one of those serpents. Nope, don't even bother fighting it, just run. It's poisonous too? Wow, those things are really assholes, aren't they? What? I thought I was flying. Guess not. It's the second time in a row I've died like that, isn't it? Really gotta be more careful with where I'm stepping. I thought that um ring with the wings let us fly over obstacles like that, though. Sure, what that does. Hmm. 
think these spiders' movement is determined by your own. In some way, I'm not sure exactly how, but that's what it seems like. Didn't mean to get close to them. So is there no... Okay. I was gonna say, is there no way out of this floor? But... No, there is. Um... Okay. Secret door down here. Wait a couple rounds. What does this do? Transforms monsters into something else. That raises our max HP. I think that's the first one of those we found, actually. Oh, it's going to attack. Which means I thought they weren't hostile unless you attack them first. Oops. Really gotta stop doing that. I'm gonna heal before I kill myself again. You can tell I'm out of practice, I guess. Doesn't help that I had to rebind my keys a little bit. Because my arrow keys don't actually work on one of my keyboards, but they work on the other one. It's kind of weird. Yeah, I had to rebind my keys to um, VI keys for a Game Boy, which is weird. Well, for a Game Boy game, it's kind of weird. Nope. Better. Do I have any healing stuff? No. You're just a cloud of annoyance. I don't really care about you. Get out of here finally. Took me long enough. Alright, so that's all of them to level 5 except for this dungeon. I think I'm gonna call it an episode there. Ugh, my throat's starting to bother me a little bit. I'm not used to talking so much anymore, I guess. See you next time, guys. Bye!